This is Iconic HD from IconicNation.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to use your D drive on your computer as a place to send all the files from your C drive so that way you can save up space. Now right now I'm using the HP MV17 Beats Audio Edition by Dr. Dre laptop. Um, I have total size 278 gigabytes on the C drive and 298 gigabytes on the D drive. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to send files that you already have on the C drive to the D drive so you can save space because your default drive for downloading things like games and stuff from the internet is the C drive. So if this is full, then it's going to say, sorry, you can't download it. And you're going to be wondering, well, why does my data D drive say I have all this free space and the C drive says I doesn't, what, why can't I download to it? So this is how it's going to work. We're going to, I've just downloaded, or <clears throat> FL Studio 9 is an application I have. Um, it's producer edition. It is not going to open right now. Watch. Windows cannot find the C program drive. This is because I sent it to D drive. So what I'm going to have to do is open up the D drive. Open up image line, FL Studio, grab the FL application, grab it and just drag it down here and set it right there. Now this one will open, FL Studio 9 Producer Edition, right there. It's going to open up, but this old one won't because the link is set to try to grab it from the C drive. Now everything's fine. I have extra space now opening up on the C drive because I'm sending things to the D drive space. So let's do something right here. Let's say you have something on the D dr C drive that you want to send to another drive to save space. We'll go to C drive, we'll go to our program files, and we'll, we will find something. Let's find something here. Well, that needs to be deleted real quick. Okay, there you go. So, EA Games. Um, nothing in the folder, but I'll save it because I download things from EA Games. Let's go to, well, I caught them, I have nothing there. Okay. Um, let's find something in the C drive that I can send to, there you go, Xfire, it's the Xfire application. I'm going to cut it, right click on D drive, and paste it, continue. Uh, Windows going to come up showing me that it's being sent from C to D, it's done. Open up D drive, well first let's go back to C drive, program files. So all the way to the bottom and see it is gone now. No longer is it located on the C drive which now means the C drive has more space open. I'm going to go to the D drive. I'm going to locate it there. I'm going to open it and I'm going to find the application. There's the application. Now this is the old application I have right here. Xfire. So I'm going to click it. Double click it. Nothing's going to happen because it used to be on the C drive. But I'll put the new one here throw this one away there you go and there we go because I am now using it from the D drive which means now my C drive has even more space so let's go to something else here let's go to don't want to use it right now don't want to log in okay so let's go back to the C drive and find something else um, Amazon Games and Downloader. Um, no, let's just send BitTorrent right there. Let's send BitTorrent over. Right click it, cut, highlight D drive, paste, continue. And then there you go, BitTorrent. I'm going to drag it down here to and there you go uh, click on it and there you go BitTorrent is brought up and it is no longer located on my C drive I just saved more space on the C drive now let's go ahead and do one more thing and then we are done that's the BitTorrent bar don't need that okay so let's go to Luminary, that's a game that I have. Let's go to right click, cut, data D, paste, and that is it. That's how you do it. So you right click it, you cut it, and then you paste it onto your D drive. And once it's on your D drive, you open it up, grab the, the application link, and send it to your desktop so that you can open it now and it won't be it won't be showing that it's coming from the C drive. That's it guys. Please subscribe to the to our channel and thank you.